Hi everyone, it's the Tides Changing here. Today I'm going to be doing a showcase of all of the create a sim and build and buy mode items that came with the new Get to Work expansion pack. I'm also going to be showing all of the color options that come with these items as well. And I just wanted to put this together for those of you who still haven't purchased the expansion pack and want to see everything that comes with it before getting it. A little bit about this expansion pack is that it adds a new active careers that allow you to control your sims while they work, and those careers are the detective career, scientist career, and the doctor career. Your sims can also own a variety of businesses including bakeries, retail stores, and bookstores. There are also two new skills which are the baking skill and the photography skill, and aliens are also back now. As far as purchasing this expansion pack if you want to get it, you can get either a physical copy or a digital copy and the retail price is $39.99 US dollars or whatever the equivalent is in your currency. Although I looked on Amazon and you can get the physical copy from them for $10 cheaper at $29.99. So I'll have a link to that in the description, I'll also have a link to it on Origin as well. Moving into Create a Sim, I'm starting off with the female Create a Sim items, beginning with the hair and working my way down. There are nine new hairstyles for females in this game, and I really do like a lot of them, especially this one. You also have some really cool partially shaved hairstyles like this one here. And something worth noting about Create a Sim is that unfortunately there are no new traits or aspirations. I was really hoping that there would be some, but unfortunately there aren't, so I was a little bit disappointed by that. But getting back to the hairstyles, you have this really nice little ponytail ha hairstyle here. And here's another nice little updo, just a little low bun there. And there's also this voluminous hairstyle right here that I really like. I think this one's my favorite. And there's also this fancier updo here. I really do like this one. I just like a lot of the hairstyles. And there's also this bun with parts of the head shaved. There's also one new hat, which is this really awesome looking beanie that you see here. And it's available for both male and female sims and also across all the ages and it comes in a nice variety of colors. There are also five new necklaces that work very well with everyday wear. And to me they seem like a beachy slash bohemian type of a style and they come with a nice variety of color options that make them fairly easy to match with different types of outfits. Especially this necklace right here, I really do like the color options that came with that one. And I also really do like this necklace, I just think it's very pretty. But that is the last of the necklaces, so now we're moving on to the makeup. A lot of new makeup came with this expansion pack, however most of it is alien makeup, so it may not be something that you use with non-alien sims frequently, but it still does look pretty cool. And the alien makeup is also available for male sims, so when I move on to the male creative sim items, I'll show what's available for them. And to be specific, there are 9 new eyeshadows, 4 blushes, and 5 lipsticks for female sims. This is the last of the eyeshadows, and as far as the blushes go, they're intended more so for aliens, so they don't really come in a lot of colors that match the skin tones of non-alien sims, but they do come in some pretty cool patterns that could make for some interesting costume makeup for your sims. And as far as the lipstick goes, this is more of an alien style one. There were two lipsticks that you could select that look like this one. One had the brighter colors that you see here, and then there was another one that came with more natural colors, I guess, for non-alien sims. There's also a very bright lipstick that covers the whole lips, which is this one right here. And there's also this cool one with multiple tones in it. And lastly is more of a metallic style of lipstick that's pretty awesome looking. So now we're moving on to the tops for female sims. So there are eight new tops, and the first time I show a new top, I just spin the sim around so you can get a look for you, so you can see how the whole thing looks. But I really do like the new tops that they added for female sims. I really like the style of them, and I can see myself using them a lot. Like, I can see myself using a lot of the clothing items that came with this expansion pack, although I'm not completely fond of the one that we just saw. And this one here is pretty nice. This makes me think of something that you might dress the employees of a retail store in. There's also this cute bohemian style top here, which I really, really like. I This is also a nice bun-up shirt that I could see going well with the detective sim or being a good outfit for a retail employee. And lastly is another, I guess, bohemian, kind of a bohemian style cropped sweater. So right now we're moving on to the full-on outfits. So first is this dress that you see here, which I really do like. There are actually four new full-body outfits. You have a romper type outfit here, and then you also have some more retail type outfits. So this is like, I guess, for a bakery employee. 
And then you also have another full outfit that I could see being for more of a high-end retail store employees. So just some nice outfits to give Sims if you run your own business. Right now we're moving on to the bottoms. There are four new bottoms. Three of the bottoms are casual shorts and there's also a really nice pair of slacks that I think pairs pretty well with the blouse I currently have my Sim wearing. This outfit just kind of makes me think of a detective. There's also this interesting pair of, I guess, worn looking shorts. And then lastly is this fabric pair of shorts with a drawstring at the waist. So that is the last of the bottoms. And now moving on to the accessories. There are two bracelets and I just turned the sim to the side for this one because you really had to be looking at the sim from the side to see the detail of it. There are also three new leggings and I really do like the leggings. You have some bright color ones. You also have some really cool pattern ones that just come with a variety of different patterns. This one here comes with some heart patterns. It also comes with some polka dot patterns and I can see these being a lot of fun to pair together. There's also one pair of socks, which is this one you see here. And now moving on to the shoes, there are four new shoes for female sims. You have some loafer type shoes and these boots here, which make me think of something that belongs with the Outdoor Tree Game Pack. You also have some platform shoes. And then lastly, you have a pair of open back flats. I really like these. These are definitely my favorite of the four new shoes. I can see myself using these a lot, but now we're moving on to the male created some items. So first up are the hairs. Males have eight new hairstyles. And I really like the new hairstyles that they added in. And something that made me really happy with this expansion pack is that they actually added a lot of new male created some items because usually the trend is you have a bunch of new items for female sims and then male sims are kind of lacking on the new content but for the most part males had about as many items as females did and in some cases they actually had more. So that was a nice surprise. I'm really glad to have a bunch of new items for male sims and I really like the new hairstyles that they added in as well. So right now moving on to the necklaces. There are four necklaces and they're more of a beachy, casual kind of a style. That's what comes to mind for me when I look at them, but I really do like them. I think they're, they're, they'll be pretty nice to use. And these are the makeup items that are available for male sims. Um, as I said before, it's really just the alien items and I'm just showing them in one color because I, you know, <laughs> to save some time since there's so many different colors available for these. As far as tops go, there are nine new ones. And once again, their mix of more casual and youthful styles and more business type attire. So this is more of a business type of j type jacket, like maybe something you would have a retail employee wear. I also really like this layered vest and t-shirt combo. I think that's a pretty cool look. You also have another fancier jacket that could be once again for a retail employee or just maybe even good formal wear. And here's a button up shirt as well with some rolled up sleeves. I really do like this one and how the pocket is a different pattern and then you have a casual tee that comes with a bunch of different patterns. You have this cool zebra type pattern, a little crab, and then yet another fancier jacket. So I can see these being useful for making some formal wear outfits. Lastly is another button up shirt. So next up are the bottoms. There are four new bottoms. You have these skinny jeans here that come in some bright colors. And then you also have some more rolled up jeans that come up slightly higher. There's also one pair of shorts that reminds me of some jeans that were just rolled up. For some reason, these remind me of something that came with Outdoor Retreat. And here is the last pair of jeans. So now we're going to be moving on to the full outfits. First up is this Sherlock Holmes type, or at least it makes me think of Sherlock Holmes and Detectives. You also have this outfit here that is similar to the one that females had that I said reminded me of something a bakery employee would wear. And this outfit reminds me of something a high-end retail store employee would wear. There are also two bracelets for male sims and they also have a pair of gloves, which I'm guessing is supposed to go with the detective career. There are also seven new shoes, so you have the sneaker type shoes right here. There's also a pair of sandals which actually goes pretty well with these shorts I currently have the Sim wearing. And I just put him in these so you could see all of the shoes. There's also this pair of boots, which once again looks to me like something that came out of Outdoor Retreat. You also have some loafers here, and then there's another pair of more casual looking loafers. And the rest of the shoes that I came with this expansion pack are all loafers. When I got to this pair here, I didn't realize it was on a new pair of shoes, so I forgot to spin the Sim around. 
And here we have the last pair of shoes, so now I'm done with the male creating some items, so now moving on to the children. Starting off with a boy, so they have one new hairstyle, they also have a pair of earrings, two pairs of glasses, and also two necklaces, and all of these accessory items are available for girls as well. And there are also two new shirts, so first up is a plaid jacket, which comes in a nice variety of colors, and I do like it. The second top is this cardigan outfit, which I really do like. I think that looks really cute. It's also available for girls as well. And there are four new bottoms. So you have these rolled up jeans, which go pretty well with the cardigan. There's this ripped pair of jeans here. So there's some more stylish tight jeans for children. There's also this pair of skinny jeans, which comes in some nice bright colors. And lastly, they're pretty similar to the previous pair of jeans, but they're just rolled up slightly. So that's all for that. So now moving on to the full outfits, there's just one outfit and it's, a, it's this very old fashioned type outfit. There's also one pair of socks which are mismatched. I think they're really cute. There are also five new shoes. So you have these adorable bunny slippers. There's also these shoes here, which are like a little bit more like fancier type shoes. Some of the shoes for children follow a theme similar to what was available for adults. You have a couple of different loafers. You also have some more hiking type boots. And the last pair of shoes is, once again, another pair of loafers. So that's all that's available for boys. So now I'm gonna move on to what's available for girls. So girls have this new hairstyle here, which I think is really adorable. And then here you can see the same hairstyle that was available for boys. And as far as accessories go, they have the same items I previously showed with the addition of a pair of heart earrings. And as far as tops go, they have the same two tops and with two additional ones, you have this really cute cat top, you have the same plaid jacket, and then there is this rainbow sweater with shorter sleeves that I really like. There are also three new outfits, which are very cutesy in style. I really like them. I think these would look really nice when paired with some leggings. There's another sweater that's similar. And you may have noticed the rabbit one had a little bunny tail around the back of it, which I thought was really adorable. And I keep saying adorable about these items, but they really are. And I also really like this dress. Uh, girls also have the same bottom, so just to save some time, I didn't really show them. They also have the same pair of socks and the addition of these knee-high socks. Girls have seven new shoes. Five of them are the same as what's available for boys with the addition of two pairs of knee-high boots. One has sort of a border at the top of it, and the other pair is just some solid colored boots. With this expansion pack, aliens are also back, and you can create them right from the beginning in Create a Sim. They only have two outfits that you can pick out for them, so I'm just showing them on both a male and a female alien. But this is all for the Create a Sim item, so now I'm going to move on to what's available in Build and Buy mode. So starting off, there are two new trees, which are just red maple trees. There's also one new type of wallpaper, which has more of an industrial theme to it. And most of the items that came with this expansion pack have more of an industrial theme and are geared more towards community lots. There are also five new floors and seven new doors for the small height wall. And I do show what's available for the medium wall height. A little later on after I show the doors and windows that are available for the lowest wall height, but most of the doors are something that you would see at the entrance of a shop. There is this one here that was unlocked from the science career. And I do also show the items that are unlocked through careers. I just wanted to show everything for those of you who really want to see everything that's available before deciding on whether or not to purchase. There's this nice pair of French doors, which I can see myself using a lot. I've been wanting some French double doors, so I was really happy to see that. But now moving on to the windows, there are eight new windows for the small wall height. Once again, a lot of shop type windows. You also have some that are unlocked through the detective careers and the science career as well. So this one and the next two after it are unlocked through the detective career. And I think this one was supposed to be like a one-way mirror, like for an interrogation room. And this one here is unlocked through the science career. So now I'm going to show the doors and windows that are available for the medium wall height. So there are three doors for the medium wall height. The first one was a fancier theme. And here are the windows. There are three windows for the medium wall height as well. So I noticed a mix of industrial theme and then more of a traditional elegant kind of a theme. As far as wall decorations go, there are... But there's one new flower box and there's also two new awnings. So it's good to have some more awnings to use with shops and they come with a nice selection of colors. 
there are also five new fences and you could hardly see it but the first one was a very low one like the kind of fencing I've been wanting that just slightly borders so I was really happy to see that there's also one new staircase was which is industrial styled a railing to go with it and also three new columns which keep up with that industrial theme as far as the comfort category goes there are four new living chairs which are more of a modern Ikea-ish kind of a style that's what comes to my mind when I see this so I really do like the style of these chairs and I could see myself frequently using them since this is the kind of style of chairs and such that I've been looking for this one here I believe was unlocked through the detective career this one also I really like that chair the bubble kind of chair the bubble chair is considered a dining chair and the three chairs after that are all considered desk chairs there's also one sofa, which is this more modernish style sofa that matches the red chair that's in the back there. There are also three love seats, the first of which matches the first chair that I showed. And the other two are benches. This one here looks like something you might possibly see at the police station or maybe in the hospital. This one here is yet another one that looks like something you would see at the police station. And this bed, I believe, was unlocked through the, det the detective career, and I guess it's supposed to be like a jail bed. There's also a medical stool and this bench here. So that's all for the comfort category, so moving on to what's available in the surface category. You have two coffee tables which are similarly themed, they just one's just larger than the other. You also have four accent tables which more so go with an industrial theme and would work well for community lots like hospitals or the police station. There's also three kinds of shelves. And if I remember correctly, these shelves are unlocked through the detective, detective career or have to do with it. I think one was like a jail tell shelf, the one that's on the bottom right. You also have four different types of desks, which are pretty nice looking. I really like the second one, which is a more modern one. The last one's also nice. The other two look more like community lot desks, especially the first one. There's also one counter and also 20 miscellaneous types of services. I guess these are all more so supposed to be pedestals for displaying items. That's what the descriptions for them said. Although this one here looks like it could be a dining table. Here's another pedestal here that I guess you could put mannequins on. There were just a whole bunch of different types of pedestals that you could use in retail shops. As I was putting these various items down, I was thinking of all these uses for them. For example, the first miscellaneous surface that I placed, the glass table to the left of that taller industrial shelf could be used as an accent table in the foyer of a house. Because usually when I furnish foyers, I have some type of accent table with some decorations and a mirror above that, and I think that one would work very well in a more modern house. And the industrial shelf that's next to it would also work really well in unfinished basements. Like I could just see that being some real, really realistic storage in an unfinished basement. So I'm looking forward to putting it to use in that way. And then lastly, you have some filing cabinets that go with the detective career, but I think they would also be really neat to use in a home office. So there's definitely some items that could make for a realistic home office. So now moving on to the plumbing, there's not a whole lot in that category, just one sink, one toilet, and one shower. They're more, they're more suited for a commercial lot. And moving on from there is the activities and skills category. You have a chemistry lab and you also have a chemical analyzer. There's also three cameras, which I enlarged so you could actually see them because they're pretty tiny. You also have a photo studio and eight different types of mannequins and then these jail bars that you see here. I just show the color on the last one because the same for the rest of them. Now moving on to the decorative items. So you have two different plants. One's more suited for a house and then this one's more suited for a community lot. There's also a ton of new wall paintings. 32 to be exact and I kept running out of wall space as I was placing these. Like I was just trying to cram as many on this wall as I could and then I had to put up another wall for the rest. But there's a ton of really neat posters and decals and I could see the decals being neat to use in a team room for example. So I'm looking forward to decorating rooms using these. I just really like a lot of them. You have a cool science theme one and then here's where I had to put up another wall to fit even more so. Some of them are also suited for businesses. You have some retail ones, some furniture ones. I also really like that sunflower painting. I think that's my favorite of the new paintings. You also have some blinds and two new mirrors. And now moving on to the clutter category. There's not a whole lot in that. There's some medical tools which I blowed up. There's also some office type items that came with the detective career that could be useful for making a more realistic home office. 
And there's also two new rugs. One is that modern circular rug, and the other one isn't really a rug, but it's more of an industrial grate. Like, I guess it's just supposed to look like a grate. So now moving on to the wall decorations, and there are 27 of those. So once again, a lot more wall decorations. This part of the showcase actually took me a while to set up because I was just trying to figure out how to fit all the items onto walls and I just kept having to make new walls and such like I said before but a lot of these wall decorations fit in with the themes of the different careers. You also have these neat steel reinforcement beams that could be used to make neat industrial lots. So there's just a lot of possibilities with all the items that came with this expansion pack. Here's another off -sea type item. You also have some more wall decorations that go with a medical career and also the detective career. I really like the portraits of the two different officers. That is also a, an eye chart. Then you had a few different certificate type items and that one's supposed to be like wanted sims to go with the detective career. And you also have a neat little video camera. There are also nine items in the miscellaneous category. You have kind of like a dummy, I guess, to see muscles and bones and stuff. You have an IV drip. You also have a hospital storage cabinet. And this card here that would work well in a library or a bookstore. And a, I think that was like a hazardous waste bin, a magazine rack, and this really neat sculpture and a skeleton. There's also this flagpole that was unlocked through the detective career. And moving on to the lights, you have four new table lamps. I really like the new table lamps. They're definitely the style that I was looking for, like somewhere between traditional, somewhere between overly modern. You also have this floor lamp that looks like something out of a hospital and an outdoor lamp. As far as wall lights go, there are seven more of them. A mix of modern and a mix of traditional. There's that one there that looks like something you would see wrapped around a mirror or maybe you could even use it around a painting. And then there's that more industrial style one, perhaps something you would see in a jail cell and a couple more industrial ones. There are also seven new ceiling lights and the ceiling lights made me really happy, especially that I want to call it a drum light, but it was the second one that I showed that's very similar to the one that was in The Sims 3 Ambition. So I was so happy to see that back. And a lot of these lights are just the style I was looking for. The last one here looks like something you would see in an unfinished basement. And there's also a few new electronic items. There's a TV and there's also two new computers. This one here looks like an alien computer and there's also a new clock. There's also some new appliances. So you have a refrigerator. You also have two trash cans and a mailbox. And there's three different types of bookshelves. The first is more industrial styled and the second one I believe is intended for bookstores because I noticed they have some items that I guess are supposed to be used in bookstores. And moving on from there, there are some items that you can only get from the retail category. And I almost left these out. I actually had all the footage and thought I was done. And then I realized there was a whole bunch of items that I didn't get, but I realized I just had to change the lot to be a retail store. And then they were all locked in a separate category in the build buy mode. So these items are just different items used to run shops. So you have some retail counters, you have a cash register, you have various displays. You also have a display that keeps food warm and then another display that keeps food cold and some signs just a different assortment of different types of displays. You also have a book display there, and I'm wondering if that's used to sell books. I haven't really messed around too much. Well, actually, I haven't really messed around at all with owning a retail business. You also have some displays for baked goods and a variety of different neon signs. You have a couple for bakeries, and then here's another retail counter. There's, there's a few different kinds of these, like I think three or four different kinds that match themes of counters. And then there's also, after this item, there's also a front desk item that I've seen used in the different active careers. And then you have another, I believe that was a food cooler. There are some more of the retail items. So these are different signs that you can put in your store. And when I read the little description of the items, it says that putting them in the store can bring more sims to them. And they come in different themes. They come in themes for bakeries, for retail stores, for furniture stores, and there are also some for bookstores, I believe. So these would be fun to put around, and there's just so many items that I'm looking forward to using, and yeah, I'm just really looking forward to making some builds using the items that came with this expansion pack. And um, I definitely will be doing a few different types of builds, but here you can see all the different items laid out. I hope those of you who are still deciding on whether or not you want to get this expansion pack found this video useful, but I'm going to end this here, so thanks for watching and bye!